Okay, it says, which of the following is the most likely explanation for this patient's hemoglobin electrophoresis results? Sickle cell anemia, sickle cell trait, hemoglobin SC disease, hemoglobin C trait, and hereditary persistence of fetal hemoglobin. A 22-year-old African-American woman with no significant past medical history presents to the clinic with a pre-employment physical exam. Um, she mentions that her brother has sickle cell anemia. Laboratory tests reveal that she has a hemoglobin level of 12.3 and a normal mean corpuscular volume. Hemoglobin electrophoresis shows 60% hemoglobin A and 40% hemoglobin S. Which of the following is the most likely explanation um, the patient's hemoglobin electrophoresis results? Okay. Um, my mind goes right to 60% A, 40% hemoglobin S. Um, that makes me think of... Um, you have no ABA, HBA in sickle cell anemia, I believe. And so you would see different... Okay, you would, oh, I don't even really have an idea here. I don't believe it's hemoglobin C or SC. Um, I don't think it's hem sickle cell. I don't know. Okay, so let's work this together, okay? A um, little bit tricky, okay? Hemoglobin C trait, right? Um, that's very specific, right? Um, that's very severe, right? Um, yes. Unlikely to answer twice here, okay? Hemoglobin CS, right? right. Um, I don't even know what that is, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> you know, for me, I would mark that out, right? Um, hereditary persistence of fetal hemoglobin, right? Um, they don't mention that they have hemoglobin F, right? So no. also unlikely, Right. So now, oh, shoot, I meant to right click that. OK, so now we're down between sickle cell anemia and sickle cell trait. So sickle cell anemia, what is the electrophoresis going to show? I think it's going to show um, HBA. Is it HB? There's one that has I've missed this before. It's crazy. Um, it says no HBA is found in um, sickle cell anemia, I think. Yeah, so sickle cell yeah. anemia is like you have sickle cell, right? Um, yes. That would be almost 100% hemoglobin S. Maybe you have a little bit of HBF, right? Because your body's trying to somewhat compensate or you were on um, um, hydroxyurea, right? So this patient doesn't have that, right? Sickle cell trait just means that, you know, you're inherited with one chromosome of the HBS, but not both. You get what I'm saying? That makes way more sense than what I was thinking about it. If you just think about it, like she has sickle cell anemia, it's going to be 100% hemoglobin, uh, almost hemoglobin S, right, you said? Yeah, exactly. That in trait, you're right. Like it's only one parent gives you the uh, mutation. And exactly. so it would be, yeah, that's crazy. I did not think, I thought uh, that's crazy. Yeah, so <laughs> just keep it keep it real simple, right? Because, you know, I always say, you know, I, I tutor this for a long time, but specifics, right? I'm trying to get you guys to understand that specifics can only help you so much, like looking for buzzwords, right? But if you kind of work through it, right? You have a 22 year old woman, right? Brother has sickle cell, but she's never had any symptoms. You get, even on a clinical standpoint, you know that she does not have sickle cell anemia, right? If not, she would have gotten all sorts of issues, right? Um, pain, right? right? Um, she would have been to the hospital for sickle cell, um, acute sickle cell, right? Things like that, right? So you know that just based on the chief complaint, she doesn't have sickle cell anemia or any major blood issues because she has to have symptoms. You're right. right. And then of course they give you the hemoglobin electrophoresis to give you a little bit extra information that I probably didn't need. Um, but I knew that it has to be trait, a carrier of sickle cell, but not actually one that has the clinical disease. Does that make sense? So when I get lost almost like this, like I was here, because I look back at it, I'm like, that's so simple. Like yeah. that makes complete and utter sense. Um, firstly, you're right. Hemoglobin C, I knew that was a very severe disease, but I got so fixated on the 60% hemoglobin A and 40% hemoglobin S that I kind of made it way harder than it had to be. For sure. So would you go, so when I get lost like that, it's fair to say like, go back, look at this clinically, like a patient okay, coming in, she's had no past medical history. That's not something that's common in sickle cell anemia or hemoglobin C. Um, yep. And so, yep. okay. That makes I would sense. say, yeah, for, for sure. I would say, you know, you're this test is not meant to trick you you know what i'm trying to say like to be mm -hmm. honest with you right um when you take this test etc this test is really not meant to trick you and so you really have to be thinking okay like 
what what does the patient look like? Is she sick? Yes or no, right? If the answer is no, then you can't pick something that is like, you know, horribly, like a horrible diagnosis, right? Like, you know, all, you know, having sickle cell, you're going to have issues, right? Like sickle cell crisis, right? You're going to have blood issues. You're going to have, you know, your spleen is going to be swollen up, right? All this stuff is going to be mm -hmm. bad when you have sickle cell, right? So you know that she can't have the actual disease, but she can definitely be a carrier, which is why they mentioned that the brother has sickle cell anemia, you know? So mm -hmm. 